how to see what's included in a quote. So before you um, send a quote to a customer, it's usually quite good just to read through or recap what you're quoting. That's to make sure and save, save errors and probably reduce the number of quotes that you have to do. So it's really part of the sales process. So here we have our quote and where we have the pricing at the top, you can see $7,595. And right next to that, you can see a link that says, see what is included. So all we need to do is select that. And there you have a summary of what's included. So here you can read through this to the customer. I mean, here we have the price itemized. So you might want to, before you do that, just go back and turn off price per component, then go back in and you can see you just have the final price at the end. So you can talk through, you have the flights and you can expand on the flights there. You've got the transfer bus. So all of this information, you can expand and then close as you go through. So we have the hotel here in Athens, tells you uh, the board basis, you know, what room it is. So it's bed and breakfast in a suite. And then you have three days, the transfer buses, the boats. So it gives you all the different information for that itinerary. So a really good way of recapping before you send the quote to the customer. You then have the price per person, the total price, and also it will tell you, and this is really great information, it will tell you what's not included and what you have to pay locally. So you can hear, see here that you've got city tax to pay in the three different hotels, which is $10. So that, then you can then close that down and then send off the quote. So that is how you see what is included in a quote.